Aspire resurfacing pavers can revitalize your home by transforming an old concrete patio, walkway, or wood deck into a low-maintenance, durable, and premium outdoor living space. Aspire pavers are made from up to 95% recycled materials. Patented Aspire pavers are the most technologically advanced and socially responsible paver alternatives in the industry. Aspire pavers contribute more towards LEED certification than any other paver on the market. Made from lightweight, durable materials that cut and handle like traditional decking materials, Aspire pavers are the easiest and fastest way to install beautiful, long-lasting pavers. They are simply a better paver. Before beginning the installation, remember that Aspire pavers should be installed in accordance with your local building codes and the installation guidelines. Aspire resurfacing pavers should not be installed where vehicular traffic is present and should not be installed for use as a fire pit. Please refer to the installation guidelines for more detail. Resurfacing installations will need the following equipment. Safety glasses, earplugs, tape measure, marker, hand dolly, caulking gun, Tight Bond Pro Vantage Landscape Adhesive, Screw Gun, Stainless Steel Screws, a Jigsaw or Miter Saw, and Blades. With stone-like color options, colors can be mixed and matched to create a truly unique design. Customize the project even more with one of many possible patterns, most commonly the herringbone, basket weave, or running bond. Borders can also be added with Aspire resurfacing pavers or with the bullnose pavers and transition pavers. Aspire resurfacing pavers are designed to cover existing concrete patios and walkways, decks, and roof deck areas that are free from major undulations. They transform a worn area or a previously unusable area into a beautiful outdoor living space. Remember that Aspire resurfacing pavers will contour to the surface in which they are resting and will reflect any imperfections. Small undulations can be fixed by using self-leveling concrete or similar product to fill in any low areas. High areas can be ground down to create a smooth surface. Shallow puddles that form will also be covered by Aspire resurfacing pavers. The system is specially designed to allow water to escape out from underneath it and for airflow to help dry the area out. However, the surface being covered should be sloped appropriately, typically one inch every six feet. Aspire resurfacing pavers add one and three quarter inch to the existing surface. Door and other thresholds must be able to support the added height. You are now ready to begin the installation. First, choose your starting point based on the project dimensions and desired look, keeping in mind any cutting that may need to happen. Begin by laying a handful of Aspire patented installation grids in the arrangement that matches your pattern to ensure pavers overlap grids in both directions. Be sure to account for expansion. If installing below 70 degrees Fahrenheit, leave a 5 8 inch total gap. If installing above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, leave a half inch total gap. The expansion gaps must be left between the perimeter of the pavers and any ridge or damageable borders or protrusions and can be split between both sides. Bring over grids full of pavers, dump them next to where they'll be placed into the grid and place the empty grids into place. This works best with a three-person crew having one person carrying pavers and laying grids and having two people laying pavers. If mixing colors, bring over the ratio of colors being used. For example, in this pattern, we are using 40% boardwalk, 40% olive, and 20% water wheel. The carrier will bring over two grids of boardwalk, two grids of olive, and one grid of water wheel each time. As you begin laying the pavers in the desired pattern, Make sure they are overlapping the grids in both directions. This is how you connect all the grids together. Depending on your pattern or when you get to edges, you may need to cut your grids or pavers. They can be cut to any shape using a jigsaw or miter saw and a low tooth count wood ripping blade. If using a miter saw, it works best to place the paver on a grid while cutting it. This allows the person cutting the product to both have more support in holding the paver and keeps their fingers farther away from the blade. Short, quick motions with the miter saw work better. Slow, continuous cuts may cause binding and warping of the blade. For pavers cut to dimensions smaller than half a paver, it is recommended to adhere the paver to the grid using Tight Bond Pro Vantage Landscape Adhesive. There are several ways to finish the installation. 
if no border is being used, end the pavers where desired and use a paver restraint to hold the perimeter pavers in place. Place the paver restraint tight up against the edge of the pavers, with the top falling slightly below the top of the pavers. Use 10-inch or 12-inch landscape spikes every 6 to 12 inches to anchor the paver restraints into place. Another option is to install a soldier course border. There are multiple ways of accomplishing this with Aspire resurfacing pavers. If a full 4 by 8 inch paver is desired and the dimensions work so it fits into the grid, place the paver into the grid and finish the perimeter with a landscape edging using a paver restraint. If the dimensions do not fit so that the legs of the pavers fit into the grid, cut the main course of pavers back so there is 8 inches of exposed grid. Be sure to not cut through the grid. To eliminate the burrs after cutting, use a scrap piece of paver as sandpaper and rub it along the edge of the cut paver. Cut the legs off the Aspire resurfacing pavers with a jigsaw. Cover the top ribs of the exposed grid with a quarter-inch bead of Tight Bond ProVantage landscape adhesive, and then place the now legless Aspire resurfacing pavers in place. Finally, install the paver restraints and let adhesive set for a minimum of 72 hours prior to walking on the pavers. The last two methods to install a soldier course border are to use one of the Aspire resurfacing paver accessory products the resurfacing bullnose pavers, or the resurfacing transition pavers. When installing Aspire resurfacing transition pavers, you'll need to cut the main course of the pavers back so there is 7 and an eighth inches of space between the pavers and the edge of the concrete. Then cut the grid back so there is 3 and an eighth inches of space between the grid and the edge of the concrete. If your grid lines up correctly, cutting may not be required. That will leave 4 inches of grid for the Aspire resurfacing transition paver to rest upon. If the installation ends with a perfect full grid, trim the expansion nubs off the side of the grid to get a tight fit. Using Tight Bond ProVantage landscape adhesive, cover the top ribs of the grid with a quarter inch bead. Choose a starting point based on the dimensions of the project and where any cutting may need to happen. Place the first Aspire resurfacing transition paver onto the grid and fasten both tabs into the grid using 1 inch or 1 and a quarter inch number 8 stainless steel flathead screws. If the tabs line up with the top rib of the grid, then 1 inch screws will work. If not, we recommend 1 and a quarter inch screws. The adjacent Aspire resurfacing transition pavers can then be slid into place with the visible tabs being fastened into the grid. To create a 45 degree mitered corner, two Aspire resurfacing transition pavers will be needed. Using a miter saw, cut a 45 degree angle back through the paver. One paver from the top right corner and one paver from the top left corner. Then place the pieces onto the grid using adhesive and fasteners to attach. Adhesive can be placed between the cut pavers to help minimize any gap that may be visible. Let the adhesive cure for a minimum of 72 hours prior to walking on them. When installing Aspire resurfacing bullnose pavers, you will need to cut the main course of the pavers back so there is 8 inches of space between the pavers and the edge of the concrete. If the dimensions work out so a grid less than 8 inches is on the perimeter, inset a half grid to make the perimeter grid larger. This will make the installation more secure. Then cut the grid back so there is 1 and a quarter inch of space between the grid and the edge of the concrete. Cover the top ribs of the exposed grid with a quarter inch bead of Tight Bond ProVantage landscape adhesive. Choose a starting point based on the dimensions of the project and where any cutting may need to happen. Place the first Aspire resurfacing bullnose paver onto the grid and fasten both tabs into the grid using 1 inch or 1 and a quarter inch number 8 stainless steel flathead screws. If the tabs line up with the top rib of the grid, then 1 inch screws will work. If not, we recommend 1 and a quarter inch screws. The adjacent Aspire resurfacing bullnose pavers can then be slid into place with the visible tabs being fastened into the grid. To create a 45 degree mitered corner, four Aspire resurfacing bullnose pavers will be needed. Using a miter saw, cut a 45 degree angle back through the pavers. Each paver should be cut from a different corner. Then place the pieces onto the grid using adhesive and fasteners to attach. Adhesive can be placed between the cut pavers to help minimize any gap that may be visible. Let the adhesive cure for a minimum of 72 hours prior to walking on them.
Aspire pavers are guaranteed for life to not crack in residential applications and are slip, stain, and scratch resistant. They are also low maintenance, requiring no sealing, and have no chalky efflorescence. The best part is that you have helped the environment. Manufactured in the U.S. and made from recycled tires and plastics, this 650-square-foot project prevented approximately 225 tires and 6,500 plastic containers from entering our landfills. You are now ready to enjoy your low-maintenance Aspire Paver Patio.